preface this a little bit before I ask my question. So I spent a lot of time online communicating with people in the right and the left, right? I'm center leaning right, partyless. And I noticed that a lot of liberals tend to, not always, but some of them, especially the far left, tends to use a lot of emotions in their arguments or their their speech, their content, whatever. And they, they seem to care more about emotions, their feelings, over actual data and facts and science. So my question to you is, how can we, anybody, talk to somebody who is throwing emotions at you and you're trying to counter with data and statistics and science? How do you deal with someone like that? Well, how do you deal with a spoiled child who won't listen to you or do what you want and just keeps hurling emotions at you? I feel this and I feel that and you're a meanie and you're bad and I don't like you. And There's zero logic. It's not a real discussion. They're not engaging you. They're not even listening to what you say. Mm. They're just throwing stuff and pointing at you and generally being a dramatic emotional ball of tantrum. Oh, so you mean like my kids? Mm. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, so yeah, they behave like that a lot when right. they were young. And how do you deal with them? My real question is, do you engage with this spoiled tantruming child in discussion? Or no. do you tell them to go to their room? Or do you go for a walk? Like, Do you engage in conversation with them? No, they're not listening. Right. And so whoever you're dealing with, who's all up in their feelings, and is just hurling emotions around and not using facts or data and not arguing a proper point and not having a productive discussion... They're clearly self-centered at the moment and self-absorbed at the moment, and they only care about themselves. They don't even hear what you're saying. They're not going to register it or remember it. It's a giant tantrum for them. It was a giant tantrum when they were a child, and it's a giant tantrum now as they're swept up in their emotions getting triggered. A triggered adult is the same as a triggered child. Nothing has changed magically. Just their they, size. Yeah. They still get swept up in their emotions and tune out and are not reasonable to discuss things with the only way to handle someone who's doing that is to go away yeah. yeah there is no other way it's like arguing with a grizzly bear no but i have food for you and i'll trade it to you if you don't maul me like <laughs> the grizzly bear is swept up in its emotions yeah. it's mad you in invaded its space and it's gonna maul you it doesn't matter how much look i will take care of you and all your grizzly bear family in perpetuity <laughs> fish berries whatever you want to eat if you just don't maul me, you're mauled. There's no point. Right. When people are in attack or defense mode, which is what emotionally triggered people are in, mm -hmm. they're either running from pain or greedily trying to get pleasure. It's a very emotional thing. There's no logic here. There's no discussion here. There's no reason. There's no rationale. Jumping into conversation is a giant waste of everyone's time. It's, it's just going to make you upset. I think there's a phrase, don't try to argue with people on the internet. They'll bring you down to their level and beat you with experience or something. <laughs> or don't try to wrestle a pig. You just both get dirty or something. Right. Yeah, fair enough. And these phrases are not exactly about over-emotional people relying on feelings rather than reason, but they sort of apply. Yeah. Don't do this. Right. And learn to hone your radar. Learn to notice when someone is in an emotionally triggered state and just disengage. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's true. 